minutes of this 10-round fight. We've sat through thousands and thousands of fights together ringside, and sometimes you can tell just from the start, like a fight like this, nice? of what you're going to see down the road. And what you're not going to see. And yet another big shot comes in. Hits him right on the spot. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Focus. 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 Good way to protect the midsection. Oh, a good right hand by Mike Tyson. Solid. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. A stabbing right hand by Mike Tyson. Iron Mike lands the left good. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Little head knocking with that right hand. Eddie, I don't think there's any doubt about it in the matchup that we're seeing here tonight. It's clear who has the superior hand speed. What does the other guy need to do? He needs to let the faster guy shadow box. Step out of range where he can't use his speed. Well timed by Mike Tyson. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. I don't know that there's any hope here as we start this new round. He's been knocked down numerous times already tonight, including the last round. And I'm sure on that fateful night with Corrales and Castillo, when Corrales had already been on the floor two times, his mouthpiece was out, it looked like it was over. I'm sure nobody thought that it was only beginning. And it was. Corrales came back and scored a knockout. Nice strike after catching one by the Brown Bomber. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Come on, come on. Halfway through round number two. Downstairs with a right hand. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. The Brown Bombers thinking defense first right now, Teddy. I mean, you can just see it in him. He's thinking strictly, hey, what happened earlier, I don't want that to happen again. And that's what his opponent wants him to think. So that's all you need to know, that you can't think that way, especially since that's not his style. Joe, if he was a counterpuncher, it'd be okay. You know, your defense creates offense when you're a counterpuncher. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. And that is not what his opponent really wants. He's backed up against the ropes. And a big right hand comes crashing home from Tyson. 
If you're circling, keep circling. Don't stand in front of it. Miss John. Okay. Look. I need you to go clean. Nation. Say, just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now. All right. It's, it's nice workout. The Brown Bombers off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up, but he looks to be steady on his feet here. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. Good job staying away from the danger there. There you go. No punches. There you go. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Not much action as he just ties up. Good return fire that time. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Use the jab! Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the Brown Bomber. Seems like he's clinching a little more. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, Teddy. So could this be a case of him trying to find a way to buy himself some time, of steadying himself a bit? Yeah, that's exactly what he's trying to do. And his opponent has to take advantage. On the inside, rotate your shoulders back, create a little distance, a little room, and make sure you don't let him tie you up. Don't let him do what he wants to do. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Last 10 seconds. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Just keep working, and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Here you go. Just don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. You're looking good. Just keep it up. Keep those hands moving, all right? Keep the hands moving. Listen, I need to see more counter punches, okay? Whenever he misses, counter. Listen to me. You're not giving me enough punches, okay? Throw more punches. Jab, jab. Oh. Interesting early rounds of this fight. Tyson's up two rounds to one on your scorecard, Teddy. What do you like about him so far? Well, I like the fact that he's busier, but I also like the fact that when he's not working, he gets out of range and he doesn't allow his opponent to win. That's why I got him winning. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Yeah. Off to the side. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. And bang, and away he goes. Wow, he goes down again. This is going to be called the elevator fight. Up and down all night. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. The fight is over. Mike Tyson's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. Mike Tyson's power that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next dawn, the dawn of the new beginning. More money. Knockouts bring money. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.